Aloha everybody, Gabe here from the Hawaii Institute of Self-Reliance, His Survival. Welcome back. Mahalo for watching. Well, I realized I had this shelter building uh, video, a uh, lean-to shelter that I built by the ocean, by this awesome Hawaiian, ancient Hawaiian fish trap. And I want to share it with you guys, kind of revive it. So stick around and check out a lean-to shelter by the beach on an island next to a ancient Hawaiian fish trap. Stick around.
So that shelter would have worked out great. And if you were worried about the tide coming up, that was a, the highest tide, so I wouldn't have got washed out. And it's very controlled. Um, it's a, kind of a, a, a man-made or man-enhanced um, um, natural feature uh, where you can trap fish and stuff. So the tide uh, is kind of, uh, you can measure it pretty much. It's pretty stable. Unless a storm comes in or something and, you know, it wouldn't have been that bad. I was pretty far from the water, actually. Uh, there's some cliffs that actually uh, aren't very high, but you could call them like, you know, little cliffs that would stop the wave from really coming in and hitting me hard uh, at the spot I was. Because that is, you know, when you build a shelter, that is one of the most important um, aspects of uh, building a shelter so this is not a survival sh you know and I'm not like you know oh, this is the ultimate survival shelter no no this is just me hanging out by the beach um, building a, a lean-to shelter it's nothing special it's just you know uh, you know not you know a survival crazy scenario and this is how you do it no this is just me uh, building a shelter next to the beach hanging out and I realized that I hadn't done a shelter video so I and I kind of lost this one, so I wanted to revive it and show you guys, and I hope you guys like it. And uh, the material I used was ironwood. There's ironwood. Um, those trees are ironwood there. So you saw basically coconut trees and, and ironwood trees and rocks and water and sand and just beautiful Hawaii. So I used ironwood for the beam and the two uh, trees that I had um, lashed the beam to uh, were all ironwood. And then I used coconut frond for the, the roof part, you know, obviously. And you can just stack it. And if you really wanted to get really crazy, you could like weave it all together. And, and But I just stack it together, kind of, you know, it, just throw it on there. There's so much around, you can just throw it all on there. And it's really easy to work with. And, and, it, and it gets really watertight. The more you put uh, on there, obviously, you know, and just keep piling on uh, coconut fronds. And then I used... Uh, sea hibiscus it's not the strongest hibiscus um, but it works and you saw that you know it, it can hold up a roof and be pretty strong um, there is other you know types of hibiscus that are stronger and if you noticed um, castaway if you ever seen that show uh, Tom Hanks uses uh, hibiscus bark cordage to uh, lash his raft together along with uh, VCR tape uh, you know, as well but you know, how are you gonna find VCR tape right so I'm gonna wrap this video up right here and I hope you guys like this video and comment I love all the comments I really dig that and um, please hit that red subscribe button for further videos and hit the bell symbol to make sure you get notifications when I upload a video and until next time hello <sighs>